Hello everybody and welcome back to Attingham Park Multiplayer. So today we're going to start off by doing a really big baling job. It's actually more than just baling though because it involves mowing the grass in the first place and telling it. Now I've just got the uh, auto stacker here, then maybe somebody else with an auto stacker, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, this is what I've gone for. There's Addy with the baler. There's no rush I don't think because obviously it does need to be mowed and tedded. Uh, not also sure where the windrower got to, so I'm not too sure if it was even rented in the first place. There's a bit of chaos here. But this is the field in question, 42, and although it might not look massive, that is big. Um, because field 34 takes us a very long time to work in, to harvest and to do any kind of jobs in there. And you can see the size difference between the two. So yes, it's going to be quite significant. Ah, there's the, uh, the windrower. Chainsaw has it. Now obviously I'm at the very end of the chain of jobs that have to be completed, but that's alright, because I think if everybody is doing this at the same time, um, it will actually be straight away that I can start to clear bales. If every single job is being completed simultaneously, then this is going to be really efficient, and the pay is still pretty good. 45,000. If you're doing it on your own, all that work, that is crazy. Still very good pay, but I suppose for FS, yeah, you could do better. But as there's so many of us doing this, it's going to be really good. I was wondering, actually, if that really small field has been harvested. The allotment field. Even smaller than this one here on the left-hand side. If it hasn't, then that does need to be done. We'll have to make sure we have about two minutes available to do that at some point. It might be today, it just depends how busy we are. Okay, have we, have we missed the turning? No, I think it's just up here. Uh, we just have to have the right people in first. So it is the Tedder first, so Ollie first, then Chainsaw, then Addy, and then me. But of course, we do also have other jobs happening at the same time here. Um, because there's quite a few players currently in the server, uh, I think actually our own field, yes, Phenomus 36 is being harvested, so that's brilliant. That is a Sorghum field. Yeah, Sorghum field. Uh, so that's, that's really good. Right, so there's six. There is the field, absolutely massive. Maybe we should have rented a second crone began. Well, actually, we don't have the money, do we? We don't really have the money. Ollie's turn. Then chainsaw. I guess it doesn't have to be a big M, though. We could just rent something else. We, we do have our own mowers as well, but it's not going to be very significant. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully uh, Addy has got this set to the largest bale size possible. Otherwise, we're going to be doing an awful lot of carting. And it did say where we needed to take this to. Oh, good, it's really close. It's literally just at the end of this road. Atcham Livestock Bales. That could not be any better. It's like the tiny field's distance away. That's great. Andy is going to um, sort out the chickens. And then he's hopefully going to come over here with the mower. Because we do have our own mower. Uh, not very big, but it will still make a difference. I think probably the more players that we have in the field here, the better. Right, the first bale. Of course, the odd miss bit is fine. There's always going to be a leeway. There he goes, number one. Fantastic. Well, it didn't take long. We are already almost full. In fact, probably exactly one full lap. And we're going to get lapped by six. Welcome, Michael, to the server. Yeah, I love how uh, popular the server is. And it is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
free of charge. Anybody can join. Uh, the Basically, all the information you need to know is available on my Discord. If you want to join my Discord server, then if you go onto my main channel page, you'll see at the top right-hand side, there is a link, an invite link. It should still be working. Right, a bit of backlog. Probably a good job that we're full, because we can now head off and get this unloaded. Not that we have far to go. You can actually see our destination. <laughs> Those sheds just over there. Put the beacons on. Go to first person view because I don't swerve as much. And yeah, this is the first time I've used the ATS. Well, no, it's not the first time I've used it. It's the first time in a long time that I've used the ATS. I'm sure it's a very good tractor. I'm not that keen on the looks of it, but of course, it's not all about looks. Okay, there we go. So this is probably about 5% of the overall amount that needs to be delivered. Yes, I didn't think it would all fit into there. Um, it's not a big problem. It would be great to have a telehandler over here actually, because then we can push them in. I could just push them with the tractor. It doesn't seem a very professional way of doing it. Let's just see how effective it is. Could really do with the telehandler. Let's just see it. Make sure this is the right place, first of all. Yes. Okay, good. Um, what I don't want to do is take the telehandler away from somewhere that it needs to be. Because that would be no good. Great. So I'm going to go back to the field with a bale on my head. Okay. Just put those two there. We are going to have to get a front loader or something. The uh, JCB is actually not being used, it's just over at the main BGA. Just tipping some silage on its own. So in that time, hopefully, quite a few more bales have been produced and we can, well, get the next load done. Yes, we should be able to do a full lap here without really queuing. In the time lapse, which you just saw, um, I did have to unload because we had two different bale sizes. This might be the case again. Let's just see. Oh, no. So where did that one go? I don't know where the wrong size one ended up. Oh, it's probably that one. So we'll stick with these. We'll get our second load delivered in no time. What I'm going to do is put those there. I'm going to take this back to the field. If somebody takes the tractor, that's fine. I'm going to go and retrieve the JCB from the BGA and it's just going to be so much easier for anybody who is delivering them to here to just basically do what I've just done there and then push them in with the telehandler. If the telehandler's been taken out, that's fine. We'll just use the front loader. But as you can see, progress is being made, but it is a huge field. So it's going to take a long time. It's actually a very impressive field. Right, so no, it's still here. Um, it's also empty. So I think we do have a pallet fork for this somewhere. In fact, it doesn't. It could be a bucket. We could just push it with a bucket. That doesn't matter. Hello, Donut Crazy. Anything. I guess even no attachment would work, just for pushing something. Ooh, we have another tractor on route. I will pull over. Hello, Andy. Yeah, so I actually rented the auto stacker. Um, it looks like it wasn't included. It looks like no auto stacker was included with that contract. So if you didn't want to use an auto stacker, Whoops. Or if you didn't have the money, you would have to move all of those bales with a front loader or a telehandler. It's 
just the top bells here which are causing an issue. So what I'll do is I'll boom out and I'll knock it over from the top two. Okay. <laughs> um, how did Andy see me crash? They are indeed. Although I did just pull out. I, I crossed the road without even looking, so can't really blame them for crashing into me. Alright, contract on field 42 is 32... Wow, 32% completed. But I think a fair chunk of that percentage just come down to bales that are put into here, so this would be making quite a considerable difference. Okay, so if my tractor is still available with the auto stacker, I'll just push these last two into there, and then we'll continue picking them up. may have swapped over. Um, yes, I think he was probably a bit bored of this job. It is a little repetitive, I suppose. So I will now continue. Um, I think I'm probably going to go up and down instead of going around in a circle. That way we can probably get a wider piece of mowed grass to work with for the tethers and the windrows. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stick this onto another time-lapse and we will hopefully get a fair chunk of this done. I'm not sure if I'm going to be driving for the rest of the field. Uh, in a way I'm hoping I'm not going to, but we'll see. It would be nice to maybe do a bit of tedding, maybe a bit of windrowing. But it'd be nice when we can collect that money. Well, as you can see, we've certainly taken a lead, which is good. We don't want to be all on top of each other and getting in each other's way. So we do just have this block of grass left here. The clearing of the bells is going very well. I think I'll probably be done here in the next two or three minutes. Clearing the bells is quite a job, but I think it'll probably be finished soon after the rest of it's done. Soon after the last bell pops out the baler, the field will be cleared. And I'm pretty sure Andy took over the JCB work, pushing the stacks into the trigger. Let's just see if I can see somebody over there. Yeah, it's just underneath the uh, exclamation mark. Yeah, Andy is there. So that's going to keep everything clear, keep things moving. And we must be quite a long way through this contract now. Let's just have a really quick look. I have to spin round. Um, 82 percent. And I think a lot of that is just putting the bales into the cell points. I think probably, because this was such a big field, um, maybe even a full load of bales will be ours to sell. Which is brilliant. Okay, and the final piece. There are a lot of bales. Uh, good job that auto stack can carry quite a lot. So I'll just put this over to the side. This will disappear when the contract is completed. So we can't return it now or anything. Just put it out of the way. Uh, not too sure why it's laggy today. Some days this is not laggy at all. Other days it is. It's just a bit odd. Um, yes, I'm going to have to uh, teleport specifically to here. 
So, yep, there's Andy. New player joining. It will be interesting to see how many of these bells we can keep. I think there's going to be quite a few. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that little field on its own. Pretty sure it's ready to harvest. It's a canola field. It's so small I can't even see it. Oh no, there it is. Yes. So is there a combine available? Yes, there is. Okay, brilliant. Let's get this over there. And we don't even need to take a trailer because we will easily, easily fit it all into here. And I think we still have some soybeans in the shed here. Yes, we do. When the price for soybeans is good, they will have to be sold. Now, at the same time, I do not want to miss the end of this uh, baling contract. So I'll be keeping a very close eye on it. I want to see the last bales go to the sell point. And this is going to be a nice, slow journey over there. We're getting closer to the field. I can still see that field 42 is being worked in. So, hopefully, I'll be able to harvest the field and then teleport over to the sell point. But this is where I always go wrong. I think to get to this field, we have to take the turning right just after the first sell point up here, I think. Oh, no. Contract on field 42 finished. Oh, no, that... No, wait. Wait a second. That can't have been completed, though, can it? No, good. Uh, we should have more bales to actually uh, take over there. Hopefully nobody clicks complete, because... Everybody on the server is a farm manager. Anyway, that's the first help point I mentioned. And we should be turning right here, I think. Because they got lost in the past. Oh, £277 from bales. That means that some of those bales from that load were ours, which means all the bales in the future are ours. I should really be over there, because I can't see a thing. And this is going to be fun. How do we get... Well, I suppose we can get in. Oh, go away, lag. We can do without the lag. Oh, £1,186 for bales. Um, still going, though. I'm hopeful I can harvest all this. Oh, some of these bales might be coming from 31. But we have sold enough to actually complete the contract. So all the ones from now on are ours. Right. Okay. Unfold. This is going to be the world's shortest harvest. But it should be done, because otherwise it's just a waste. We're producing our different products, our produce in the greenhouse. Okay. It looks like it is literally up and then down. No, I don't think we need any more hay. Yeah, if I had been positioned correctly, I think it would have been exactly up and then down. But as it is, I might miss a little bit. Come on, I want to see those bales sell. This is a rushed harvest. Okay, can we even get a thousand litres? I don't think so. Right, get back up to the top. Yes, all the way over there. And we'll say that's finished. Done. Brilliant. Right, turn the engine off. We'll deal with that later. Uh, there's Andy spinning in circles. And, yeah, I want to get over to the field, really. 
we might have an available tractor over there. Just fly. Looking good. Yep, there's still quite a few left. There's a full load. Bit of a lineup over there. But I can see probably seven bales. Seven bales left in the field. Oh, and the funny shape one. No, not the funny shape one. The funny size one. Yes, that would be weird. Okay. But this this should be good because these are all for us. Here we go. Be fun watching these sell. Because even after all of this, we then have the 45,000 pounds. Well, it's, it's going to be deducted a bit because we did. Oh, that's an interesting approach, Andy. <laughs> normally, normally you'd push with the part that doesn't get damaged, like the bucket. Um, well, it does seem to work, because now he can just go in there and then just sell them. Clever. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, we're going to get some money deducted because we did rent the machinery. Hmm. Anyway, um, just a few more to come, and we did collect quite a bit of money there. Not bad. Right, this is the field. You see the bells that are left here? Everybody's gone. They haven't left the server. They've just moved on to other things. Maybe it's just me that's interested in watching the uh, money come in from those bells. Ah, yes. Mowing our own field. That's, that's a good idea, because then we can make more silage. Oh, no. It's not been emptied. Well, I better get back. We'll take this back over to the... I'm just wondering if we can actually sell at British Grain because that is literally en route yes we'll unload Okay, here we are. So that's that done. The world's smallest harvest. All right, Joe wants to know where to put bales. Uh, I'm not actually too sure what bales those are. I'm going to have to go and locate him. I would imagine... Uh, there was something about 31. Oh, we own 31 now. Nice. That must be where all the money went. I was wondering where it had gone. Um, yeah, so probably... Yeah, these ones. Which one of these is Joe? I'm guessing this tractor here in front of us. Oh, and that's Addy. And that's Donut Crazy and Michael. Where is Joe? I seriously wish that this had the names of the players above them. It's just... It's so hard. It always used to in previous versions. Why would it not say the player's name? I don't know where these people are. Where's Joe? Hang on. There is a Joe in here. Hello, there are the bales. Right, okay, brilliant. Um, yeah, so they need to ferment basically, so where he is now is great. Some of these were fermenting, but they've all fermented now, so uh, we can probably sell some of these. Probably do that next time. Let's hope this works. Yeah, we just don't want to mix up the unfermented ones with the fermented ones. Definitely should sell some more. We don't need quite so many, <laughs> and there's even more being produced. Right, it's starting to go dark. Next time we'll move into the morning. There's Andy. And yeah, in this grain store over here we do have quite a lot of uh, soybeans. So we were just basically waiting for the price to increase. Um... Best time for these is June. It's currently March. So, yeah, we're still waiting. 
we can get about 3500 so over a thousand pounds more if we just wait we'll keep waiting right so was that contract actually completed yes it was good so we do have 117,000 pounds from various sources I'm gonna leave this video here thank you so much to everybody who has joined in today it's been great fun as usual and um, yeah we'll be back soon I don't know if there's going to be an episode next week because of Platinum Edition being released, we will see. Um, but I would say at a guess we'll be returning in about two weeks. But I will confirm this nearer to the time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.